It's, it might be shocking to know that if you want to go and put EV charging infrastructure at a site in a depot format, there are, there's only one city in the U.S. that allows you to do that by right, and that's Austin, Texas. Everywhere else, you have to find it's an ancillary use. Like It's like you have a, an operations building and charging is an ancillary service. So the first thing we have to do is we have to get the zoning right, and then it's the permitting, right? When you have to go through 14 different agencies to get your sites approved, not only is it exhausting, it's just you never know what's going to come up. And then when you finally get a utility to commit, unfortunately, a lot of times they're not hitting the deadlines that they've set out. And when we are contracting with a customer to deliver a site on time, or we have penalties, it doesn't work when the utility doesn't meet their end of the bargain. So what we've been calling for is like a, an infrastructure tiger team, right? Let's break down the silos. You know, let's, you know, everything that, every project that is tied to LA28, let's make sure we give that prioritization, priority review. Let's make sure that we assign people from each of the city agencies and the utilities uh, to this team and that they have actually authority to approve projects and move them forward. And then from an accountability perspective, each project needs to have an expediter. One person whose sole responsibility it is. See that thing along. Yeah, oh, yeah, see it along. One person. If we're not getting responses from someone on that Tiger team, it's that person's responsibility to go in and figure out what's missing, what do you need, remove road roadblocks so those roadblocks don't become delays.